1, 2. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a three-in-one tribute on behalf of his family, Binda, Nicholas, and myself, Cecilia Gidhari. Tribute to Christopher Louisi. Mr. Rowe, 903, TX 903. These were the names by which most people knew Christopher Louisi. He set a good example of what it really means to put family first and cherish friendships. He was also a very generous man who was well respected in his community and profession. Roe grew up in Pebush. He was the fourth of six siblings. His brother T-Boy remembers most fondly on gardening days, the parents and siblings would be hard at work in the garden while Ro would stand on the sidelines watching instead of helping. And boy, that kid could eat. Ro was 19 when his brother T-Boy discovered that Ro had moved out without any notice. He later discovered that Ro moved to the city, purchased an old model car, and started taxi driving. When T-Boy asked him about his move, Ro's response was, I wasn't born to work the land. Despite moving to the city, he never forgot his roots as he remained closely connected to his relatives in Babono. His stepdaughter, Allison, remembers countless family day trips to Babono and Millet, visiting family and friends, where he was always greeted with reverence. A taxi driver by profession, Roe worked with St. Lucia representatives and, and was a founding member of Courtesy Taxi Association. Always personable, attentive, and meticulous about how he presented himself. Roe became somewhat a personal brand. He touched so many lives over the years. Those who had the pleasure of riding with him can consider themselves fortunate. Everyone got the VIP treatment. We know more. His famous response when interacting with his fellow taxi drivers. Did somebody say whiskey? Bro was never one to drink alone. However, his liquor cabinet was always fully stocked with Dewar's and or Johnny Walker ready to share with anyone who stopped by for a visit. Allison remembers so vividly tasting whiskey for the first time, trying to satisfy her curiosity about what it was so special about that whiskey. Trust me, my friends. You do not want to know what the outcome. Nothing gave Ro more pleasure than chilling with his famous five friends, sipping whiskey served neat on the rocks. Mr. Eric, Mr. Ape, Mr. Kash and Kari, Mr. Sando, may they all rest in peace, and Mr. Bourne, who has outlived them all. To Linda, 
Ro, as she knew him, was a good friend and a loyal driver with St. Lucia Reps for many years. He was always on time and always gave his best. He was always willing to do what was asked of him. I never, remember ever, I never remembered him ever saying no, I cannot do it, even when it's something he did not want to do. He would always say, if or when you call for my work, just leave the message of Ali, I'll get it. Although he had that really loud voice, which at times sounded so rough and scary, but there was a gentleness about him. He and I always spoke about Tekla and how he had a good wife and his boy Junior. I remembered asking him one day, is Junior your only child? He said, no, he's my boy, but I love all my children. When I first met his wife, I said, Ro, you have a beautiful wife. He said, yes, she's a good church lady. And I said, I hope you treat her good. He answered, yes, and he gave that big Ro smile. Ro was always concerned about bringing things together when it came to the work aspect, so things can work out. He loved what he did, being a taxi driver. When we would talk, I would always ask him about home and his response was always, when you're a bomb, madam, I would always tell him, I hope you remember that. We had some good laughs. Somehow I knew when we last spoke, it would be our final conversation. He explained his situation and I assured him I would keep him in my prayers. Nothing was too much for him to do or give you once he had it. When I needed drivers for early trips, I could always count on Ro, and his van was always very clean. He was the teddy bear that did not realize how good of a life he had. We know the Bible promise there will come a time when the dead will come back in life. In John chapter 5, verse 28 to 29, Isaiah chapter 25, verses 8, also tells us, Jehovah God will swallow up death forever. So I look forward to the day when I will hear Rose say, And I will say, good to see you, my friend. This was on behalf of Linda. I, Cecilia, had the privilege of being transported on a red Toyota highest bus, registration number 903, as a past student of the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. I later learned the driver was Mr. Rowe, a man of few words then. My designated seat was directly behind Mr. Rowe in the passenger seat. While being transported to school, my thoughts then was, what a quiet, helpful, polite, kind-hearted driver. Mr. Rowe was always before time and was never in a hurry to get to the destination. His aim was always to ensure that whilst he traversed at zero miles an hour in second gear, it was certain passengers got to their destinations safely. If any motorists behind him were honking, he would give them a sign to overtake him. We were blessed with the opportunity of cr crossing paths again in life when we linked up at St. Lucia Rep Sunlink Tours for 20 odd years. Only then I knew his real name was Christopher Louisi. And to me personally, he became Roro. Fortunately for me, he became my voluntary driver and I was now promoted to the, the passenger seat up front. Roro would pick me up from my house to take me to and from work. Once he was available, he did so with no reservations 
and at no cost. During this time, we engaged in many conversations, quite a contrast from when he transported me as a child going to school. One of our favorite topics was little jokes about his son, Junior. He took pleasure in entertaining me with the stories Junior would tell him about his girlfriends. Junior, don't worry. I'll drink water and mind my business. He was also very conscious that whilst extending his transportation services to me, that he had to meet his wife, take her to church, or to do her groceries. Roro was a very committed driver to St. Lucia Rebs, even on most cruise ship days. He would remind the staff that this was his daily bread and would give their transfers first priority, which the staff ensured that he was compensated for favorably. In spite there was a rotation system, his name was always on the list because he was one of the most loyal and reliable drivers. In all my years of working with Ruru, I remember one instance where I had to reprimand him for breaking procedure and he had to be suspended for two weeks. The tears came out of his eye like that of a child. And that was not uncommon. His tears were very close. He said to me, When it tooth bills my poopy, pa fort me, make I pay your call. I said, Roro, who serve a party ni professor? Mwe padoro, but man choice. It was difficult to suspend him, but it was even harder knowing he was suspended. And I would still call and say, Roro, I can get a right to work tomorrow. Which he again committed to with no reservations. I remember his zip lining experience, where some guests had extended invitation to him to join the tour. He was very ex excited, as this was his first experience. The next day, Ro came to the office to collect his transfers for the next day's work. He could barely come up the stairs. I said, Ro Ro, Saki Wivo? He said, Sisil, Ishmoe, Simwedu, De Mula di Mue, Vini Fezi, Blinek, Yo, Tutze, Paul, Mue, Cafe, Mema, Mue, Te Puya, Lingla. At this point, we were dying with uncontrollable laughter, including him wiping his tears. We also enjoyed moments where he expressed weakly that his belly was going down, and he was so pleased he would tap both hands against his belly to show his results. On this subject, I remained a good listener and gave him an encouraging smile with no comments. After my tenure with Sunlink, we remained in contact. He advised that he was on dialysis, which was a very challenging and expensive experience, but he was trying to cope. When I last saw him, in spite of taking treatment, he seemed fine and in good spirits. To my surprise, the news of Roro's death came to me via WhatsApp message at 10.48 p.m. on May 20th via a friend. And today, here I am to bid him farewell. To his, to his immediate, extended family and friends, my deepest sympathy to you all. As the days continue to pass, I pray that you find comfort and strength in God. May he wrap his arms around you and give you peace and hope. I encourage you to embrace God's goodness and by extension, the support in the people that surround you. Reminisce on the found memories you carry of Roro in your heart and mind. I wish to close with this text taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 to 14. 
My brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. He will be truly missed by his wife, his children, his family, his friends, including Linda Nicholas and myself, Cecilia Githari. See you again, Christopher Lewisy, Mr. Ro, Roro, TX9, till we meet again. I thank you. Will the family please proceed to the entrance to the church? Let us all stand, please. We have it in the morning. My neighbors.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Praise be God, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions, and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I bless the body of Christopher Luisi with the holy water that recalls his baptism of which St. Paul writes, all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we were buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life, for if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of his baptism, Christopher Luisi put on Christ, the day of Christ's coming, may be clothed with glory. Our entrance hymn, Canticle of the Sun.
So before the prayer, we wish condolences from Archbishop Gabriel Malze, who was unable to be here because of his own commitment in, in Dominica at this time. So the family and Father Michel also sends condolences to the family. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Christopher, whom you have called this day to journey to you, that since he hoped and believed in you, run that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Will Samara Breen and Mirari Theodore please come forward to the sanctuary? The first reading to be proclaimed by Samara Breen is taken from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. I, Daniel, was doing penance when I received this message from the Lord. At that time, Michael will stand, the great prince who mounts guard over your people. There is going to be a time of great distress, unparalleled, since nations first came into existence. When that time comes, your own people will be spared, all those whose names are found written in the book. Of those who lie sleeping in the dust of the earth, many will awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting disgrace. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven and those who have instructed many in virtue as bright as the stars for all eternity. This is the word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, Psalm 23, the Lord's my shepherd.
second reading to be proclaimed by Mirari Theodore is taken from 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 2. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children, and that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him because we shall see him as he really is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all stand for the proclamation of the gospel. It is my Father's will, says the Lord, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, and, I shall, that, I, and that I should raise it up on the last day. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me, because you love me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them, and will continue to make it known, so that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and so that I, may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father Cleo, as already mentioned, condolences from His Grace Archbishop Gabriel Malze, also to Archbishop Robert Rivas, is coming in tonight, I think, or tomorrow night, so he will not be there, but I'd like to extend his condolences along with, as said, Monsignor Michel Francis, Vicar General, and some of the other clergy who would like to be here and who are represented by us 
those of us who are here. We are in solidarity with Tekla and the family as you, we journey with you in prayer and faith on the passing of Ro Christopher Luizzi. We have just celebrated the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Pentecost was only last Sunday. When the church invited us to understand the meaning of our own lives as we reflect upon the life of Jesus himself. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. And Jesus models for us a number of qualities that we everyday Christians like Tekla and Ro try to live. Everyday Christians try to imitate Jesus in our own everyday way. Jesus was obedient to the Father. The Father sent him. And he obeyed the Father in humility. We can see in people like Tekla and Ro, another member of the family, and many of us every day, we try in our own ways to be obedient. We try to follow the directives we've been given, the mission we've been given, the faithfulness in service. Ro as a taxi driver, Tekla, fidelity to church, faithfulness to church. So many bishops and archbishops, cardinals whom she served. Uh, fidelity, faithfulness. The quality that Jesus asked us for, to be faithful, faithful. That's reflected in the ordinary lives of so many, many, many Christians who are trying their own ordinary way to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus. To give of oneself. To give of oneself in service. To give of oneself in generosity. To share. That's the model that Jesus gives us. And again, so many ordinary people are trying to, to be like that, like Jesus. They share. They assist. They give. Jesus has a great model and all of us trying to be, to be like Jesus. To be like Jesus. Something like Jesus. And then of course, we have the great model that Jesus is for us. The model of sacrifice. Of sacrifice. Of suffering. Of pain. And of course, we know the pain, the suffering that all of us go through. It may be the physical pain of illness, incidents that happen with Ro and with Tekla. Huh? Illness, it may be sacrifices that we have to make with our children, for our friends, our families. It may be journeying with somebody who's sick. In all of these ways, we have the example of Jesus who sacrificed, who sacrificed. And in the end, after giving himself completely, he went into the tomb. He went into the grave. And then at Easter we celebrated the accomplishment. His mission was accomplished. He came, he gave himself, he went into the grave, he died. And then he rose again. He rose from the dead. And that, sisters and brothers, that's a great model for us. That's a great example. That's a great hope for us. That after we finish our journey here on earth, whatever profession we have, whatever situation we're in, after we try to be like Jesus, we too, like, oh, we'll be placed in a grave. Yes, we'll go into a grave. But as Jesus went into that grave and we followed his example, he did not remain in the grave, but the power of God raised him up. God's power raised him up. 
And we stand on those promises of Jesus that we too, if we have faith, we believe that that same power that raised Jesus will raise us up. Will raise us up. So Jesus is a model for us, not only in living, a model for us in dying, and a model for us in resurrection. And that is why when we come to a funeral, it's a moment for us to reaffirm our faith in the example of Jesus. He who has gone before us. Where he has gone, we too will follow. What has happened to him, we know we too can stand on the promises that it will happen to us too. So Jesus died and then rose from the dead and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. And the beautiful thing about Jesus is that he's not only model for us, but after he rose from the dead and he ascended to the Father, he promised us that he would come to assist us in our own journey. So that when the moment comes for us to die, he would be there because he had gone to prepare a place for us and he would be ready to welcome us where he is. So that where he is, we too may be. This is the beauty of our faith. This is the joy of our faith. This is what removes the bitter edge and the pain and the suffering, a separation of death. That hope, that hope that believe that Jesus has gone to be purpose for us and he's come back to take us with him. So that we now see death as what? We see death as a great arrival, a great arriving home, reaching home where Jesus is ready to greet us and take us to be with him where he is. That's the faith that we share. That's the faith of rule. That's the faith of tech. That's the faith of family. That's our faith. And so we face death with what? We face death with that serenity and that confidence that yes, death, you will cause pain, you will cause separation, you will cause us to feel hurt. Or not. But death, you have no victory, death. You have no victory because in the end, death, when you think you have conquered, Jesus has risen and we too will rise again. He has risen and we too will rise again. He has gone before us and he will come back for us. He has prepared a place for us and he will come to take us to be with him where he is. That's the faith with which we bid farewell to the road today. That's the faith of which all of us prepare. That Jesus has gone before us. He has gone to prepare a place for us and that he will return to take us with him. So friends, we thank God for the lives of our loved ones. We thank God for persons who've, who've been part of our lives and whom now through death we are separated from. We give thanks for the moments we had with them. We give thanks to the way in which they touched our lives. We give thanks for the contribution they made to our society, to all of us. But above all, we give thanks to God for the gift of faith which he blessed them with. The faith of which we can now say to Rome, Christopher, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new Jerusalem, where Jesus is waiting for you, where all the angels and all the saints await you. With faith like this, let us comfort Tekla and the family. Let us comfort one another and let's be reaffirmed in our own faith. Amen. I'd like to invite those with bidding prayers to please come forward to the sanctuary. Shall we all stand?
Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. For the church, we pray for the church in these times. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the College of Bishops, priests, and laity, we ask that the Lord give them all the wisdom that they need and the strength to undertake the individual ministries. May the Holy Spirit be the guide and companion for all those who seek to lead and guide your people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Prayer for the government and civil authorities. We pray for our civic leaders. We pray for laws that are just and for policies which will help to bridge the gap between rich and poor. We pray for peace in our communities, for an end to violence, especially that which is gender-based, and for a greater focus on the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Prayer for peace in the world. We pray for an end to war and violence in the various parts of the world where innocent lives are being lost. We pray for the families who have been displaced, losing their homes, property, and members of their families. You are the God of all consolation, and so we ask you to shower your mercies on your people everywhere that they may experience the restoration that can come only from you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the family of the deceased, dear Lord, we pray for all those who are now left to mourn the loss of our beloved Christopher. We thank you, Lord, for his devotion to family and to the people whom he served. Bless our memories, Lord, and help us to learn from his example and to be loving and kind to those who we still have with us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the youth, Lord, we pray for the youth of this nation and of the world. Give us the patience and the withdrawal to be instruments of peace and of healing as we interface with our youth. For those who have restored to a life of crime and violence, dear Lord, we ask for your mercy and forgiveness. Forgive us, Lord, for our neglect and let there be a conversation and a turning around of the hearts and minds of our young people towards you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, Christopher received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, a collection is to be taken up. And during this, we sing freely, freely.
Our offer to him is, Father Lord, we offer you our daily life. and my sacrifice and yours, acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Christopher, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift 
lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, that all might escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with 
Francis or Pope, Gabriel or Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Christopher, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her spouse, Saint Jews, with blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we Please dare stand. to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed.
our hymn for communion, Sing Out My Soul to the Lord. And please remember that we still have to work with our, on the, within our COVID protocols. So please keep your masks on as you approach the communion line.
Let us pray. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Christopher may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. be seated and now I'd like to invite our four witnesses to please come forward to the table for the signing of the registers and during this time we have a special rendition by Wilburn Mathre. Never 
for the final commendation. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Respond, receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. 
Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Christopher in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Christopher in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, come to us us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we we'll all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the soul of Christopher and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and make you the holy and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. A recessional hymn, Walk With Me, O My Lord.
empat.
like when I was a child Before life removed all the innocence My father would lift me high And dance with my mother and me Stairs, he would carry me, and I knew for sure I was loved. If I could get When I was a child Before life removed all the innocence My father would lift me high And dance with my mother and me And then spin me in front till I fell asleep Stairs, he would carry me, and I knew for sure I was loved. If I could get another chance, another walk, another dance with them, I'll play a song that would never ever end. How I'd love. I pray for her even more than me 
child Before life removed all the innocence My father would lift me high And dance with my mother and me He would carry me And I knew for sure I was loved If I could get Another chance Another walk Another dance with them I'll play a song that would never ever end How I'd love to comfort me yeah then finally make me do just what my mama said later that night when i was asleep he left the doll under my sheets never dreamed that he would be gone from me if i could stay One final glance, one final step, one final dance with him. I'll play a song that would never ever end, cause I'd love, love, love to dance with my father again.
of Christ, may the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we mourn to reunite at one day with our brother to gather. May we meet Christ Jesus who is our life appears in glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 25 verses 34. Come, you are blessed by my Father, says the Lord. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Lord Jesus, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And so may the grave be a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother Christopher may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light will see light and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
because God has chosen to call our brother Christopher from this life to himself. We commit his body to earth, for we are dust, and to dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in his glory, for he is risen, the first born from the dead. So let us commend our brother Christopher to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and rise up his body on the last day. Now let us recite together. As our Lord Jesus Christ taught us to pray with the longing for the coming of the kingdom of God. Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of holiness and power, accept our praise on behalf of your servant, Christopher. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he desired to do your will, and his faith united him to your people on earth. So may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you, may, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And let the perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of the faithful depart through the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Man is the only Bible. <coughs> Those who want no grave shall hold his body down. No grave shall hold his body down. Hallelujah. One the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise. No grave. No grave, hallelujah, no grave shall hold his body down. No grave shall hold his body down, hallelujah. One the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise. No grave, no grave, hallelujah, no grave shall hold my cousin down. Hallelujah, O oh, grave shall hold his body down, hallelujah, when the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise, no grave, no grave, hallelujah, my God, the first generation was call on God, and they die, second generation, call on God, and they die, my God, my father gone long time ago, his dad gone long time ago, now he's going, my God, the first generation, call on God, and they go. Second generation, call on God, and they go. Live and die. My God, it's only those that repent and baptize that go to heaven. My God, the day of coming, we're going to see our cousin again. My Lord, we thank you for our father priest that do good message. My God, to deal with us, to help us, to put my cousin body away. My God, children of God, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. There's going to be no more dying, no more killing. We're looking in St. Lucia. There's going to be a lot of dying, a lot of killing. The young people, young generation, of course, they kill each other. My God, the government cannot do nothing. But God, God is coming. There will be a new heaven, new earth. There will be no more death. There will be no more killing. There will be no more violence. My God, we're going to be there at the day of judgment. There will be no more male, no more female. My God, we pray. Jesus is coming.
Again on the last day, no grave shall hold his body down. Trumpet of God shall sound. Dead in Christ shall rise. No grave, no grave shall hold my body down. My God, we going to heaven. Christian never die. Christian never die. We not afraid of death. We not afraid of death. It's only a body. The priest said that. Only the body does he his does shall return. But the soul is living. The spirit and the soul that never die. That go with God. My God. Next song.
and we're going to pray before we leave. And the cameraman, they're ready. After I put all the flowers, we're going to pray as family. We are one family, my God. One family live in love, in unity. God is moving. Miracle happen. When we live together as family, miracle happen. Yes. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 
I see you have a bag. What's your name? Oh, okay. Sorry. and pray before we go. Yeah. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, this is my blood that day. All of us is my blood. Lord, I thank you. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, soon coming King, God, I pray for help and strength and knowledge, understanding, wisdom, power over all enemies. We have enemies. We have plenty of enemies. God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We know they don't like the, the no one. The no one people, they are people that come together when things happen. Lord God, we don't beg nobody for a penny. God provide for us. Lord God, I pray and thank you for his wife. Do all his best and work very hard and do the rest his last respect for his husband, for my cousin. Lord God, I pray, God, I thank you that, Lord, I thank you for the way that you give it to us, Lord God, give us a chance to do the last respect. God, we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for everything that you have done for us, oh God. We pray, God, let us live. If we love God, we love people. God, we pray thee in the name of the Father, and the name of the Son, blessed Holy Spirit. We pray thee in Jesus' name. Amen. Will we meet again? Will we meet again at the last? Will we 